In today's video, we're going to be talking about one of the biggest and most affordable dropshipping suppliers that you can use for your fashion or clothing e-commerce store. This supplier not only has some extremely affordable products, but they also have practically an endless catalog at this point. I remember when they first started, they were just a small little business and within a few years, they've just absolutely exploded. Now, what's this mystery supplier that I'm talking about? Well, we're talking about none other than Shein. And yes, I said she in because that's actually how it's pronounced. I did a lot of research to figure this out because in one of my previous videos, when I mentioned Shein as a supplier, somebody actually corrected me in the comments because I was saying Sheen and it's not Sheen. It's not Shine. It's she in. If you don't believe me, just go ahead and check this out directly from the company's Twitter. So let's just lay that to rest and we're going to go ahead from here and call it Shein just as it's supposed to be. So without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and run that intro and let's get started learning how you can start your own dropshipping business using Shein as a supplier. Not only that, but we're also going to go into some of the best sellers that you can add to your dropshipping store. going on everyone Mara here with out of the s and as usual if you haven't done so already please make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos remember that on this channel we cover anything and everything dropshipping related going from some of the best tips and tricks to help you start and succeed in the business to some of the best products that you can offer now if you want something that you can reference throughout the video or even after the video to go along with this video i have an easy to reference cheat sheet in there i'm going to have all of the different links that i'm talking about and a couple of extra little bonuses here and there for you. If you want access to that, all you have to do is comment down below she in dropshipping and let me know what your favorite thing is about this supplier. Once I see that you went ahead and commented, I'll reply back with a link to the cheat sheet. Aside from the cheat sheet, we also have a relevant article that has all of the information that I'm going to be covering. So if you want access to that, then just go ahead and check out the description down below. The link to it will be there. Now, before we get started on how you can start using Shein as your dropshipping supplier, Let's go ahead and cover some of the pros as well as some of the cons to using them for your dropshipping business. So to start, Shein actually has one of the largest selections that you will ever find when it comes to fashion accessories and clothing. If you jump on their website, you can see that they're always getting thousands upon thousands of new items. So you're never gonna run out of products to offer. On top of that, they also have a VIP rewards program. Now with joining their VIP program, you can benefit with certain rewards as well as special discounts. Another huge plus is the fact that you can actually use Shein to dropship around the entire world. Shein has fast and efficient global shipping. And quite frankly, best of all, they have some extremely affordable prices. Throughout this video, you're going to see some of the different products and you're going to see that they're pretty cheap. You can make a pretty good profit using Shein as your dropshipping supplier. Now, really quick, let's cover a couple of the cons. There's really not that many, but there are a few things that you do need to keep in mind. For one, they ship with branded packaging. So when your customer receives a package, it will say the brand name on it. Now, realistically speaking, a lot of customers don't really care where the item is shipping from as long as they receive it in a timely manner. So that's one of the things that you really don't have to worry too much about. But really, for the most part, customers are more concerned with how quickly they can receive an item versus the packaging that they receive it in. Now, another really important thing to keep in mind whenever you're using Shein as one of your dropshipping suppliers is copyright infringement. Now, this isn't really an issue as long as you're taking your own product pictures. If you use the pictures on the Shein website, then you could potentially land in some legal trouble and some copyright infringement. So just make sure that if you do decide to use them as your supplier, you order a sample, take some pictures for yourself, and then use that. But please keep in mind that it's imperative to never use the images that Shein has on their website, especially the ones with models in them. All right, now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about how you can start using Shein as your dropshipping supplier. And the first thing that you need to do is find some best selling products. You need to figure out what's hot and what's currently trending. Now, if you're trying to find some trending products from Shein, then there's a couple of different ways that you can do that. For one, just go directly to the website and look into the new in section. And you can see what's new in women's clothing. And you can filter that by the different types of garments that there are. Aside from that, you have new in today. So you can see what has released either today, yesterday, or last week. Another option that you have is on their website, just go ahead and keep scrolling down until you find the section that says trending brands. These are all brands and styles that have been currently trending and selling on the Shein website. Now, just looking at this, the one thing that stands out to me is actually the middle image right here. That reminds me of the Wednesday show from Netflix. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I thought it was fantastic. I loved it. But clearly this outfit or this style is modeled and takes inspiration from the show. But that's beside the point. Now, here are actually 10 different trending products that you can start dropshipping from Shein. And the first one that we're going to cover is the crisscross backless cami dress. As you can see, they have tons of different options. They're all fairly similar, at least in the back, because it has a little crisscross. And just looking at the price, you can see that these are all extremely affordable. The pricing on this is 
fantastic. You have room for some pretty good profits. Take, for example, this one right here, the Shein VK cutout crisscross backless split. It's selling for $14.49. And really, you can easily sell that for at least $30 or $35. The second option that we have for you is the mock neck wide leg jumpsuit. So just like before, as you can see, they are some pretty similar styles with a few key differences. And once again, extremely affordable. These jumpsuits do come in a couple of different materials, including polyester, linen, and cotton. In our third spot, we have the tie-dye bodycon dress. Now, as you can see, these are some pretty bold colors. They really stand out and they're really eye-catching. Now, lately, tie-dye has actually been booming and it has gotten very popular lately. In almost any type of garment that you look for, whether it be tops, bottoms, or even shoes, you're always gonna have some sort of tie-dye option. Now, another quick thing to look out for with these different types of dresses is that they do come in quite a few different sleeve lengths. So some of them are gonna have long sleeves, some of them are gonna have short sleeves, while others are gonna have no sleeves. So these can be used in different types of occasions. So just make sure to watch out for that and offer as many variations as you can. On our fourth spot, we have the square neck asymmetrical top. Now, as you can see, the one thing that these all have in common is the square top. So these all have a square shaped opening design in between the shoulders. Now, when you're offering this type of garment, there is one thing that you need to keep in mind, and that's not all of them are really going to fit exactly the same. So in order to combat this and make sure that your customer has the best experience with the top or whatever it is that they're buying, make sure you always offer a sizing chart. Always have that available in your store or on the product page. Now, it's easy to get that. All you have to do is, let's say you want to sell this one right here. Go ahead and open it in a new tab and scroll down a little bit. And then here you're going to see the size and fit. Go ahead and click on that and just make sure that you copy this. So you can either copy it and put it as part of the description or another option that you have is you can go ahead and open up your snipping tool if you have a Windows and just go ahead and copy it over and make it into an image. The draped collar metallic dress is up next, perfect for pretty much any night out. My wife actually wore one of these in one of her date nights and when I tell you that she was radiant and shining, I mean, she was literally shining. These dresses actually reflect a little bit of light. So when light hit her, she reflected the light. <laughs> In our number six spot, we have the color block one piece swimsuit. Now, as you can see, these have some pretty bold colors and really stand out. I really like the different color combinations that they have. And as an added little bonus, these actually have a built in bra for added support as well as comfort. As the perfect add on to the swimsuit, you can always offer a black sheer cover up, which is actually our next item up on this list. These are perfect to take out to the beach or to the pool or to any other type of event that would require some sort of cover up. Now, up next, taking it back to the 90s in 2000s, we have the flap pocket cargo skirt. These come in a few different materials ranging from cotton, denim, and corduroy. The single breasted waistcoat is up next. And one variation of this particular garment is for men. They don't only have it for women, they also have this type of garment for men as well. And same goes for almost anything on the website. You don't always have to stick to just women's clothing. They also have men's clothing at Shein. Now, the last option on this list is going to be the button front lounge set. These can be worn either around the house or just simply to go to bed. All right, so step one of starting your dropshipping business using Shein is done. Finding best selling products as well as trending products. Now, next up, we need to figure out where we're going to sell. So are we going to sell on our own website or are we going to sell on a marketplace? Now, what's the difference? Well, if you're selling on your own website, then you're more than likely going to be going with a platform such as Shopify, Wix or WooCommerce. On there, you're going to have the ability to create and customize your website the way that you see fit. For the most part, you're not going to have any restrictions on what you can sell, but always be careful with that because there are some items that you really shouldn't be selling online. But in this case, since you're going to be selling clothing, there's really not a problem. Now, when you are selling on your own website, then marketing is going to be completely up to you. You're going to have to find a way to be able to bring in traffic to your website to be able to make a purchase because realistically speaking, nobody's going to know that your website is there. Now, if you decide to sell on a marketplace, some of the more popular options are going to be Etsy, eBay, Amazon, and Facebook Marketplace. Now, when you're selling on these, Typically, you are going to have some higher fees than you would, let's say, when you sell on your own website. But the upside to this is the fact that you're going to have free organic traffic. People that come to these types of marketplaces are ready to make a purchase. So they're going to these websites with the intent to actually make a purchase. All right. So now after you figured out where you're going to start selling your products, then the next thing that you need to do is start importing your products. Now, this can potentially be extremely time consuming. So the first thing that you need to do is figure out which product you're actually going to import. So in my case, let's say that I'm going to go ahead and import this lounge set right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click into it. And if I'm doing this the traditional manual way, then I'm going to go ahead and copy over this. I'm going to go ahead and copy over the title 
title, then I'm going to go ahead and look for the description and I'm going to copy that as well. So right here, go ahead and copy all of this. Then same thing for the size and fit, copy everything over and then paste it to either my website or my marketplace. Now, remember that we're not allowed to use these particular images, but typically if you're sourcing your product from anywhere else, like let's say, for example, AliExpress or maybe DHgate, then what you would end up doing is right clicking and then saving the image. But we're not going to be doing that because once again, you're not supposed to be using these images because they are copyright. So in this case, what you would do is you would order a sample to your house, take a couple pictures and then post it up. But the rest of the details that we do still need to copy over. So you can either do it once again, the traditional manual way, which if you do maybe two or three different listings, it's okay. It's not going to take that long, but when you really start getting into maybe 10, 20, 30, 40 different listings, it can start taking a long time. So in this case, my suggestion is go the automated route. So in order to do this, it's actually extremely simple and extremely quick. So all you have to do is copy over the link, then head on over to our dashboard over at autods.com. All we have to do is log in. Now, once you're logged in, you just go ahead and simply click on add a product. And since we're only adding one right now, we're going to click on single product. And then from here, all we have to do is paste in the link and then we can either publish it directly to our store or we can edit now. And as you can see, the supplier source actually changed to Shein. So now let's go ahead and do a quick edit now. Now what's going to happen is this product is going to be added to our draft section. Now, once we have it ready in our draft section, we can go ahead and make any necessary adjustments. So we can change the title. We can add any tags if we choose to, or we can add it to any collections if we're selling on a platform such as Shopify. Aside from that, you also have a few extra tabs. So we have the description tab where we can go ahead and edit the description and then change whatever we need to. Now, this is obviously very boring and it's just very simple. So let's just actually go ahead and take this and let's copy it and let's run over to chat GPT. Now let's go ahead and actually ask chat GPT to make a better description for us. So let's write, make this into a product description, make it catchy and add a few bullet points. So what I like to do is whatever I needed to rewrite, I put it in quotes so that it's easy for chat GPT to know what I'm talking about. So open quote, paste, end quote, and then enter. So let's see what it comes out with. Okay, so it actually gave us quite the long description, introducing our stunning beige, a perfect blend of comfort and style for any occasion. Key features, then it has a few bullet points, captivate the crowd, and it also has a few extra key points. Now this is really long, so let's just go ahead and tell it, make it a bit shorter. And what it came out with was actually a paragraph which didn't have any bullet points. So then I just told it one more time, keep the length and add a few bullet points. And then it gave me introducing our beige casual short set, a little bit more information. Then it gave me the bullet points, and then it told me to upgrade your wardrobe with our beige casual set and embrace the perfect blend of comfort and style. So this is actually the perfect length. I think this is great. So from here, all we have to do is go ahead and copy this and just replace what we have in our description already over at autods.com. So just go ahead there, paste, and we're done. Now we can check out our variations. And from here, we can make any necessary changes to the different variations. For the most part, the only thing that I use this section for is to just go ahead and highlight everything and do a bulk edit. Then when it comes to my profit, I like to increase it. So let's say, for example, in this case, I'll do maybe 140%. And then you can see that the price that I'm going to be selling it for now is $50.98. Then clicking on over to the next tab, you have the different types of images, which again, we're not supposed to be using these because these are copyright directly from Shein. So in this case, what we're going to do is just go ahead and select everything and remove them. Now I'm going to go ahead and order a sample. And when I receive it, I'll take the pictures and then I'll add them here. Then the next tab is the item specifications, which has a few extra details of the item itself, which isn't necessarily needed. So we're pretty much done at this point. Now, if we're ready to import this to our store, let's say if I did add the images already, I can go ahead and click on save and import and it'll be live in my store within minutes. But since I don't just yet have the images, I'm not done with the listing. I'm just going to go ahead and click on save and save it as is in my draft section. When I receive the package with the garment itself, I'm just going to go ahead and click on back over to my drafts page, open it back up, add the images, and then save and import. Now, remember how we said that you're going to have to bring in your own traffic if you have your own website? Well, that's when marketing comes in. And marketing isn't just if you have your own website. You can also use marketing to bring people into your marketplace, let's say on Etsy or eBay. So if you're selling on your own website, such as Shopify, Wix, or WooCommerce, you have a few different options. You have pay-per-click ads, which are pretty much Facebook ads. And if you want more information on that and even a free ebook to help you out in the entire process, just go ahead and check out that cheat sheet. Remember that if you want access to the cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment down below, hashtag, she and dropshipping and let me know what your favorite thing is from this supplier aside from that you also have influencer marketing blogging and email marketing now if you're selling on let's say ebay you have the option for promoted listings advanced as well as promoted listings standard 
These are two different ways to be able to promote your listings on eBay. Now, let's say that you're selling on Etsy. Then in that case, you have the option to be able to promote each listing individually. In that case, what ends up happening is you can set a daily budget that you'll use for all the listings that you want promoted. So each time that one of those promoted listings is clicked, a few cents will be taken from your budget until the budget is maxed out for that particular day. Now you started up your marketing, you made a couple of sales. Now it's time to start fulfilling your orders. In this case, you have once again, a couple of different options. You can do it the manual way or you can do it the automatic way. My suggestion always go the automatic way. It saves you a ton of time. But if you decide to do it the manual way, this is what you're going to do. So in this case, what's going to end up happening is you're going to copy everything over manually. So right now we're actually on my Etsy shop and I have an order that needs to be fulfilled. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And then over here on the ship to, it gives me the customer's address here. I'm going to go ahead and copy that. Then I'm going to run back over to Shein. I'm going to add this to my cart and then I'm going to check out. When I go check out, I'm going to input my customer's details. So I'm going to paste in what I copied over from my orders page. After that, once the order is fulfilled and the supplier has has shipped the item, you're going to receive a tracking number. Then I'm going to run back over to Etsy and I'm going to put my tracking number in there. So that way my customer can know that it's shipped and they'll know how to track it. Now, once again, that's perfectly fine if you're doing one or two different orders. But once you start to get multiple orders, 10, 20, 30, it's once again going to take a long time. So this is when you can start automating the entire process. So when it comes to automatic order fulfillment, if you're using AutoDS, you have two different options. You have automatic orders or you have fulfilled by AutoDS. What's the difference? Well, with automatic orders, what's going to end up happening is AutoDS is going to log in to your Shein account using your login details. From there, it's going to make the purchase using your banking details or your credit or your debit card. Then once the order is fulfilled, AutoDS will take the tracking number and update your marketplace with it, as well as your customer. Now, if you're using fulfilled by AutoDS, which is my preferred method, instead of using your account, AutoDS is going to use its own buyer accounts. So your accounts will never be touched. Aside from that, instead of using your banking details or your credit or debit card details, it's going to use a balance like this one right here that you top up. Now, if you are using AutoDS to automatically fulfill your orders, then your orders are going to pop up here in the orders tab. Here you can see whether the order has been shipped or if it's been ordered. If you click on here, you can change the status yourself, but you can see if the order is either pending, if it's been ordered, if it's been shipped, delivered, or if it was canceled. Now, the last thing that you need to keep in mind when you're starting your dropshipping business using Shein or any other supplier is at the end of the process after your order has been delivered or even while it's being fulfilled is that you need to provide the absolute best possible customer service. If a customer has any questions, any inquiries, any concerns, they're going to email you. Try to get them an answer within at least 24 hours. If it takes a little bit longer than that, then it is what it is. But typically try to keep your answers within 24 hours. For the most part, customers don't like waiting longer than that. And honestly, if they do wait longer, they're probably going to forget that they ever messaged to you in the first place and they're going to go ahead and place their order somewhere else. And that's all there is to it, folks. That's how you can start using Shein as your dropshipping supplier. As you can see, Shein has some absolutely amazing products with some of the best possible pricing that you're going to find pretty much anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, if you found it informational, please make sure that you leave a like and also make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS. And if you want access to that cheat sheet, all you have to do is comment down below, hashtag Shein dropshipping, along with your favorite thing from Shein. Huge thank you to everyone for watching. It truly means a lot, especially if you made it all the way to the end. Once again, my name is Mario with AutoDS. And I'll catch you all in the next video.